Hey buddy, this is Shets from North Penn High School right outside of Philadelphia. It's finally glad to, I'm glad to meet you. Uh, finally got me on film. I've made some other videos. Check them out. MakeMathEasy.Wikispaces.com. Take a look at that. Today we have Kyle Berger on camera and Tommy Visa. He's my button guy for today's lesson. Today's lesson is about domain and range. I don't know why, but students just have a real hard time with domain and range. I'm here to tell you it's easy. Take a look at what we have for you today. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks. So, if we take a look at our board here, here we have a line and we are going to, all I want you to do is flatten the graph to the x-axis. Bingo, look at that. And now when we show the domain, look at our green line here. It is all of the x's, all x values from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. So we will just hide that a moment, show those points again, and now this time we're going to flatten, flatten this graph to the y-axis. Look at that go. And finally, when we show our range, it is from negative infinity down here all the way up to positive infinity. There's our range. And then our domain, same thing as before. But wait, folks, we have much more for you. Next item of business will be our absolute value. There's an absolute value. Again, like I said, domain x values. Flatten the graph to the x axis. And bingo, show our domain. Look at all of our green from negative infinity to positive infinity. Great. Now, we just have to restore that curve and hide the domain. And finally, there's our points. We will now squish this to the y-axis. And then show our range, bingo, from zero to positive infinity. And notice we are using interval notation. Okay, next one, uh, we have an arc for you. Here's an arc. Again. <laughs> Just got mail. We're going to flatten this to the x-axis. That's going to be our domain. And notice this time, we have from negative 1 all the way up until a 3. That's it. That's a domain. That's how easy this is. Okay, we'll hide our domain, show our points, and flatten this to the y-axis. And as you can see, it's going from a 1 to a 2. So when we show our range, there it is, closed circles. Okay, interval notation, our brackets. Great. Next one we have is a circle for you. And again, we will flatten this to the y-axis. Man, is that good or what? And now we'll show our domain. Here we are at a negative 6 all the way out here to a negative 2. Bingo. There it is up top. We'll restore our graph, hide that domain for a second. And now we will flatten the graph to the y-axis. Look at those guys go. And it looks like down here, we're going from a negative 3 all the way up to a 1. Bingo, that's our range. Show the range. Again, close circles. Looks great. Next one, parabola. There we go. Again, you want to flatten this to the x-axis for your domain. And notice negative infinity all the way out here to positive infinity keeps going super we'll restore that curve and now we want the range so we're going to have to flatten this to the y-axis and now when we show our range look down here we are from a negative three all the way up to positive infinity 
Bingo, that looks great. Piecewise, let's look at some of these. Again, guys, really, this is how easy it is. You just flatten it to the x-axis for your domain. And when we show our domain now, look at this one. This is split up here. We are going from a negative 2 all the way to the left, negative infinity, all the way up to a negative 2. And then over here, we have another part that's going from 2 to 5. So notice we have a union here going from negative infinity to negative 2, and then a 2 to a 5. That's how easy the domain is. <coughs> and again, this is piecewise. All right, now we're going to try out the range, and again, collapse the graph to the y-axis. And notice, we have one point down here at negative 4, then we go from negative 2 to positive infinity, and bingo. Negative 4 to 4, that's closed, that's one single point on 4, and then from negative 2 to positive infinity. That was a great one. Real easy to do, just learn how to collapse those graphs. Piecewise number 2. Okay, here's another piecewise. Um, let's go ahead and collapse the graph to the x-axis. And now when we show our domain, notice it's starting here at negative infinity, and it goes all the way up to a 4. Bingo. Great. All right, that's our domain. Now we take a look at our range. Here's the points. We will flatten those points against the y-axis. And we have from a negative 3 all the way up until infinity, bingo. It can't be much easier than that. That's how easy it is. Here we have our sine graph, 1.5 sine x plus 3. Take a look at it. And again, we want a domain and range. So again, we're going to squish the graph to the x-axis. And as you can see, we have negative infinity to positive infinity. That looks great. That's our domain. All right. We'll uh, squish this graph again to the y-axis. And as you can see, it's starting at negative, I'm sorry, it's starting at uh, one and a half and going all the way up to four and a half. And again, they're closed circles. There's our sine function. Domain range looks great. Finally, our step function. Again, we want to flatten it to the x-axis. And notice, it's going from negative 4 all the way up to an open circle at 6. And notice, we have a bracket at negative 4 and then a parenthesis at 6. Interval notation. Great. Okay. Now we will, again, collapse this to the y-axis for our range. And notice, these are just single points here. At a negative 3, negative 1, 1, and a 3. And that's how you would use this in interval notation. So there's our range. Looks good. And finally, it looks like we have a square root. And this is 2 times the square root of x plus 4. Again, to find a domain, collapse the graph to the x-axis. And notice we are going from a negative 4 all the way out to a positive infinity. And then finally, we'll take a look at our range. Again, collapse the graph to the y-axis. And notice we are going from a 0 all the way up to a positive 4. Folks, I really hope you enjoyed this. Math is really easy. Make math easy .wikispaces.com. Check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Learn something about domain and range. Made math easier for you. Very easy concept. 
And for some reason, high school kids, they don't get it. I can't believe it. That's easy to get. Squish the graph to the x-axis, that's your domain. Squish the graph to the y-axis, that's your range. Thanks, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, buddy, we'll see you. Have a great day.